Risk Lloyd's Fishery Company is probably one of the oldest companies in um, England. It was uh, first incorporated in 1793, so it's, there's a lot of history there. It, it's unusual. It actually owns the freehold of the seabed. It's not very common for private companies to do that. It's usually owned by the Crown. Um, at one point, at its peak, probably in the 1800s, it employed most of the people in Whitstable. And the figures are not very accurate, but it was hundreds of millions of oysters were being sent up into uh, London and around the world. About 80 to 100 smacks were working the ground, and then that was during the seizing harvesting, and then a lot of the time, the way they used to, it wasn't farming as such, because they were always reliant on wild stock, so they used to um, either buy wild small oysters, seed oysters, or go and dredge them elsewhere out of season. By out of season, I mean the months without an R in it and then relay them on the grounds. And Whitstable was famous because the, its position on the Thames estuary means there's a lot of nutrients coming down the Thames, which means there's a lot of phytoplankton growth, it means there's a lot of food for the oysters. So it was a fattening area. It was an area where they brought oysters from elsewhere and they were laid on the company's beds to take on the characteristics and to improve them to a quality whereby they were then sold as Whitstable native oysters. By the pre-Second World War, it was in massive decline, and then post-Second World War, it never really recovered. Um, the, by the time mm, we were involved in the company, that's probably in the middle 70s, there was only one employee left. <laughs> so going from something that was you know, a massive industry, within 100 years, gone to almost nothing. In the past, I would say 10 to 15 years, the production has started to increase again, even though it's still a fraction of what it used to be, and probably only 1% of what France produces. There's been an increase in the demand for oysters, and that's not from older people, it's from younger people who are more interested in the source of their food and how it is, how, whether it's good for you or not. First year we put out 150,000 oysters, I think. This year we'll put out 3 million. So in the course of less than 10 years, the production has increased ten, almost tenfold.